Hi, and welcome back. I hope that you're having a wonderful week and that 2019 is being very good to you. I really appreciate you stopping by for a visit. Um, hasn't been that long since my last floss tube video, but it is a bright and beautiful day today. And I just um, went through about two days of being in bed flat with a migraine. So, since I'm feeling really good today, and uh, actually felt good yesterday too, but yesterday I cleaned the fish tank, which I'm always proud when I clean the fish tank because my fish is 19 years old now, and it's a goldfish, actually a big long carp, and that's what he looks like anyway. He's white and he has a few orange spots, um, but he's ancient. And uh, he likes to be in kind of algae surrounds, so I don't scrub his tank out because he does eat off the walls. But I took the filter down and scrubbed that all out. And I have to be careful because he is old and he ha I know what kind of an environment he likes. So anyway, fish is good. And uh, Wally is laying over there in the window being quiet. So, I'm going to let him be. Yeah, he's looking at me. Words of wisdom. Let him be. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I don't have a lot of stitching to report. I can report that I finished my journal for my swap and junk journal junkies. So, this will be a video I put up on my channel today. So, I'm looking forward to going through this and seeing what it looks like. Hopefully I will think it's finished. Because um, I do right now. And I'm looking forward to getting into less gluey surrounds for a little while. I do still have two journals I want to make. Um, both for friends. Uh, friends in the box. So. Uh, let's see. I did some stitching. One I'm very, very proud of. And Sherry, pay attention. Pay attention. This one I started when my children were little. Back in the late 80s, maybe. Early 90s. Yes. This is a blast from my past. There it is. All finished. I'd rather be a mother. This is from a Leisure Arts leaflet. And I really um, enjoyed this. I think I was struggling at the time because I was home with my children. And I didn't feel productive. And I read this and uh, realized that being a mother is a very important thing. And it's not an easy job. So um, other things can wait because your children won't wait. They grow. And... Um, yeah, being a mother is a very important thing. So all I had to do, stand up, was finish up, uh, backstitching the train. I backstitched a little more on the book, added the French knots in the big teddy bear's eyes, put in the balloon, the crayons, and the paper, and the blocks, and outlined the other bear. And hey, presto, I have a finished object. Yay. So, I'm very proud of that. What will I do with it? I have no idea. <laughs> but it's done. Um, yeah. My youngest... Uh, the youngest granddaughter that I see is, 14, is 13. She just turned 13, so... I know she doesn't want it. Anyway. And, uh... The only other stitching that I've done recently is I put a few more stitches into Winter Wonderland. Uh, it's a mini Hade, and the artwork is by um, Jane Wooster Scott, and I just love it. I'm not loving all the baby pink, though, which is predominantly what I've done. So, as you can see, I'm, I have, it's 25 count. Easy Guide Lugana and have my Wally Needle Binder that Elaine sent me. Hi Elaine! And uh, 
Yeah, I just did some more baby pink. And I got to get a move on with this because that's supposed to be my 1,200 stitches for January. And right now, that's pretty pitiful. But it's coming. Now, let me put this over here. As far as plans go for stitching, I have a few. It's nothing extensive. I will work some more on my 1,200 stitches. And... I'm going to work some more on the um, Leslie Tear Owl cell. And I really haven't done any more on this. I actually have a, a mistake in here. And I don't know if I'm going to fix it. Right now the owl is just too close to the snowflakes on this side. He's buttoned right up against them and he's supposed to have one block in between. But hey, you know what? He might just be close to the snowflakes. And I'll just finish January. But I think he's looking great. I think I'm going to have to come up this side and see what happens. But yeah. So I am enjoying this. I like the colors. This is just a piece of 18 count Ada that I dyed myself. And it has a bunch of really pretty colors that I'm working with right now. There's that that I'll do some more on. And then I haven't started my 2019 ornament sale with uh, J Just Cross Stitch Ornament Sale on Facebook. It's a Facebook group. And the sale for this month is really beautiful. It is, ah, to cover it up, you can't see it. It's joy, and actually, <laughs> let's see, that's by Livia Rovaris. So, yeah, that's really pretty. And uh, I look forward to that. I really want to stitch it. I just haven't been doing a lot of stitching. I've been working on my journal, and I have been watching YouTube videos, some floss tube. I've been making a few comments. Uh, because I am really enjoying it. And darn it. Every time I watch a floss tube, I have to go look around and see what other charts are out there. And hang on a minute. If I, let's see, where was I? I can show you on my Kindle. Let's see if that comes out. See, I have pages and pages of books on my Kindle. But if you look, like right here, favorite cross stitch, magazines, wow. And then, let's see, cross stitch crazy. Wow, even more magazines. And <laughs> Let's see, where's the other? Oh, there it is. Costage Gold. More magazines. And then I have shelves of magazines, and I have boxes of magazines, because, hey, I'm not a kid. I've been around a while. And by a kid, my youngest child is 35 years old, so my oldest is over 40. Go figure what I think is a kid. Uh, <laughs> anyway... I have more than enough to keep me busy. And I bet for a lot of the new stuff that's coming out, I can look back and find similar things, which is no knock against today's designers. I see their stuff and I want it all. Just like I want it all of everything. Just not enough. Not only are there not enough hours in my day, I doubt there's enough years left in my lifetime. But I still go out and buy stuff. Uh, hopefully, uh, when I'm gone, my daughters will want it. Who knows? Maybe even by then my son, although I doubt it. Um, but both of my daughters cross-stitch, so they can have a look at it all. Speaking of which, I saw this, I think, on the Crafty Curator's channel first, and then on a few others. And yes, it's the uh, annual calendar. This is a cross-stitching 2019 activity calendar. 
an activity. And I'm sure most people have already seen this. Because you see an elephant, like a lotus blossom, a fox, and a beautiful city. And that almost looks, it almost looks like, I don't know, a cross between maybe Seattle and Sydney. <laughs> I don't know. But if you look on the back, you can see there's all kinds. There's hummingbirds, giraffes, sea turtles, everything. And it's beautiful. And it's a full-size calendar. Yep, see that beautiful elephant? I would love to do that. And because of that beautiful elephant, I ordered a second copy of this calendar. And it's going to my daughter in Arizona. She should have it tomorrow. Uh, and then in the back, there's this beautiful pocket. And in that pocket are wonderful charts. I mean, very well done charts. And, um, and it actually has pages that tell you from Awesome Pattern Studio. There is the, uh, the Mandela Elephant. So these are all separated by title sheets. So you could conceivably put holes in them and put them in a binder. Mandala Tree of Life. Of this one, you know I'm doing this one. Mandala Cat. I love the colors. I mean, I say be colorful. Well, this is being colorful. Here, oh, it is Seattle. Never mind Sydney, it is Seattle. Here's a Mandela Hummingbird. I kind of spur of the moment decided I was going to show you each of these. This is a Mandela Hand, kind of like Hamsa, Hand of God. Really cool. Here's the Mandela Giraffe. Amazon. If I think of it, I will link it below. Mandala turtle. My daughter Rebecca would love the turtle. Here's New York City. You know I'm doing pretty little New York. This is a different view of New York City. Pretty cool. Here's a Mandala owl for all you owl aficionados. And for you fox aficionados, Mandela Fox. Isn't he beautiful? I have a lifetime of stitching just with this calendar. And here's the Mandela Lotus Flower. Isn't that gorgeous? Anyway, I will try to remember, because I'm not always good at about it, I will try to remember to put the link to this on Amazon. I don't have an affiliate code, so you're just going to be linking to Amazon and... God bless. <laughs> so that's the, my only, I think, stitching purchase. I did make another purchase, but that was more for my journal. My I had a purple cow laminator. And what I like to do is I like to make a dashboard piece because these journals are really, are really thick and they have a lot of chunky bits. And there's no way. I mean, I leave a lot of writing space, but it would be really hard with some of my glue, uh, like glued in, like chunky parts to actually write on this page smoothly. So what I like to do is I like to make a dashboard. So I took like the face from the cover and a piece of scrapbooking paper and I laminate it and then I put it inside the journal so it can be used between the pages so you have a smooth cover or smooth not cover surface to uh, put between your pages and you can write on a page and I think that that is fun and it matches the journal so hey and not that I'm a matchy matchy person because I'm not um, although there are times when I find it convenient to be matchy 
and uh, I've been looking at some quilting stuff and I just ordered some needle felting stuff actually I didn't order stuff I already have needle felting stuff I ordered some roving um, I want to make a doll I have an idea for a doll I want to make a little needle felted bear and um, oh some embroidery I've been looking at some embroidery and some jewelry you know, I just want to do it all. I want it all. I want to do it all. I need to not sleep. I have a smoothie for my breakfast, which looks gross but tastes good. And I have my tea and my uh, Alice glass. It's an insulated glass from Disney. So I'm, I'm all set. All I gotta do is do stuff. So I need to stop talking. And I need to do more crafting and more stitching. I've been stitching at night and I've been uh, all done doing all my other stuff. I've been sitting down to stitch. So that's generally been how I've been uh, sorting my time. So no, I'm not spending as much time stitching, but I'm enjoying the time that I am stitching, which is important. Um, yeah. I still need to fill bird feeders. It's only nine degrees Fahrenheit out there, so it's a pretty chilly day. But it was only three three degrees in the morning yesterday, so hey, it's a heat wave. Uh, yeah, so I need to fill bird feeders because when it gets this cold, those little birds eat a lot. I buy black oil sunflower seeds, and uh, they eat those. And then I put suet cakes up for like the pileated woodpecker and. Uh, the nut hatches and things. There's some blue jays that come around. We have winter birds and we have summer birds and it's funny like the cardinals are year-round but in the summer I'll see red-winged blackbirds and some Baltimore Orioles and a whole bunch of different birds. Had two really huge black crows in my yard the other day. Um, they rivaled the size of Mary Rose's cuckatoo. I mean these birds were big, and uh, Wally had to go out. So Wally went out and chased them off. But I didn't tell him that those birds were almost big enough to carry him off, but didn't phase him. So that was good. Um, you can see, I'd like to think that he's lying in the sun, but really at this time of year, there's no heat coming in through the glass because there's no heat coming off the sun. We're not at the right angle or the right distance right now for heat. <sighs> but that's okay. My sweatshirts, I'm happy. And uh, oh, and I'm wearing another pin. This is one of the ladies head pin. I bought this from someone else, another doll maker at a conference. So, yep, you can do all kinds of things. It doesn't have to be a, a doll. Anyway, I think, oh, I did want to say, I watched my um, whip parade, my works in progress on parade, and I went. I watched it for myself so I could make myself a list. And I think I showed you this list maybe in my last video. But what I did was I went through and I put a box and a star around, at, you know, by some of them. And so far, of the 17 that I have marked to finish in 2019, I've finished three. So I've got a good start. I'm, I'm getting through some of the things that I would like to have finished this year. And some things there's no way, because some of my stuff is very big. But there are things that I really want to finish this year. So, wish me luck. Um, but no pressure because this is going to be a year I cherish cherish everything that I do. Um, whether it's stitching or journal making or doll making or jewelry making, whatever I decide to do, I'm just going to cherish the time. And I'll bring you along with me so you can see what's taken my fancy. So until the next time, like Cinderella's mother said, be kind and be courageous. And as Kelly Bell says, be colorful. God bless. Thanks for joining me. Until the next time.